Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to try to play Pokemon Legend ZA on my PC through emulation. So I've played it on the Nintendo Switch 2. I played mostly on the Nintendo Switch 2. I also played it on my Nintendo Switch, the original one. Alright. Uh, but yeah, now I'm just going to try to emulate it and see how it runs on my PC. So yeah, let's get started. So you need to prepare a few files, alright. So right here, I've got my Switch folder... You need to have a modded Nintendo Switch, okay, which I have. I've got a modded Nintendo Switch. I modded it myself, soft mod. I have a video showing you how to do that. I'll link it up here. Okay, um, and then you need to dump your own tools, all right? Your, your firmware, all right? There's a tool called uh, this one. NX Dump Tool. NX dump tool. You need to have this and you should dump your own firmware and you need to dump your own keys. Uh, that's a separate video. I won't go into that today, okay? Uh, because dumping your keys, you need something called lockpick and I think that's DMC8. Uh, so it's really hard to find that tool anymore. Uh, but yeah, you need to like to do this legally, all right? which we're, we're going to do. It's legal, okay? You need to have your own game. Uh, you dump your own Nintendo Switch firmware. Okay, the game's here. Um, yeah, so here are the keys that you should dump your own. Okay, these are the prod keys and title keys. Uh, you need to have your own firmware. This is the Nintendo Switch firmware, which is 20.5.0 that I dumped myself. Uh, and then you need to have the emulator. I'll link the, for the emulator. Uh, it's Eden. We're using Eden today. And then you also need to dump your own game. So I've got my game right here. This is the... Uh, Pokemon ZA game with the update. Okay, so one's a four gigabyte file and one's a 40 megabyte update file. Okay, all right, and then once you've got your emulator downloaded, okay, it's just a folder like this, and then inside you should have an application called Eden. Here's an application, double click it, okay, and here it is. Here's the emulator. This is like brand new, nothing's installed. What you need to do is, you need to install the firmware and the keys. So the keys is runs first. You need to run the keys first because if you go to tools, inst install firmware from zip file, uh, you need to have the keys. So how do you install the keys? Go to file, open Eden folders. Okay, and then NAN folder. Okay, you don't really need the NAND folder because uh, just go up a level, Eden, and then there's a folder called Keys. Okay, it's empty right now. So you should just put your prod keys and title keys over. Okay, so here are the, the keys that I dumped myself. Drag them over. Oh, actually, it, it just copied over. So maybe I should leave a copy over here just in case. So I copied here and then i think i need to restart i'm not sure yeah you need to restart okay so restart eden restarting the emulator and then go to tools install firmware from zip file then i'm just going to Find my folder again, and I'm going to select my firmware zip file. And now it's installing the firmware. Okay, so I've installed the firmware. Okay, now I'm just going to check my controller, make sure. So I'm going to be using an 8 bit though controller. Okay, I'm connected to a um, external battery because I haven't charged this in a while. So Forgive me. This is actually a Nintendo Switch power bank that I purchased. It's an um, anchor, but it's uh, endorsed by Nintendo. So you can see there's a Switch logo. I bought this back in the day when it released, the Switch release. So yeah, I do support a lot of Nintendo products. <laughs> All right. So I've got the 8 bit controller connected wirelessly, Bluetooth to my computer. And I'm going to go to configure, controls. And I'm going to, okay, here, make sure it's pro controller, input device, I'm going to select my controller, which I've connected Bluetooth. 
Okay, so you can see if I move, you can see it's moving. Yeah, so it's working. That's working. If you want um, the gyro, oh, my gyro, you can see my gyro is already moving. See if I move my controller. See how the, um, this part, the top part here, this part, it's, it's, it's already got gyro supported. So yeah, that's very cool. Uh, you, you need you cl click here if you don't have it set up click motion and like you click it and it tells you to shake and that's how the, it just works the 8-bit though pro controller just works okay that's cool got motion got everything done now here double click for the game folder and then I'm just gonna select my switch folder and it just detected my Pokemon Legend CA ROM. Playable. Okay, and then um, if you want to update it, so if I right click, um, and then configure game, you can see the version is 1.0. Okay, you can also update this to the latest version. So I'm going to install files to NAND, and I'm going to select that 40 gigabyte file the update open so i'm going to install the update install okay now it's update 1.0.1 that's how you installed an update for the game or dlc if you have dlc that you dumped yourself okay so yeah that's it that's basically it uh you can also configure the game here like if you i'm just going to leave it at default and let's see if it runs. See if it runs. I'll probably have to blur this out. Just, I don't want to get on Nintendo's nerves. I'm going to blur this part out. Any graphics? Yeah, you can see it runs fine. Yeah, so that's how it's done, guys. On your PC. On your PC. Before we go any further, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, instantgaming.com. If you're not familiar with them, make sure you check out their website using my link below. They offer games at big discounts. Some games are even up to 90% off. And they can do this because they buy the game keys directly from the game developers, so it cuts out any middleman. So next time before you purchase any games from Steam or Epic Game Store, check them out first compare the prices you might save yourself a lot of money i use them all the time they've got a trust pilot score of 4.7 out of 5 and that's with over 700 000 reviews so yeah very trustworthy site uh just make sure that you're choosing the game on your region i think that that's important because some games are region locked so yeah double check that uh but it's okay i've tried it like buying a game with a different region and i can just get a refund yeah it, it, that's fine and i do get a kickback for every purchase you make using my link so yeah uh, but that's at no additional cost to you so thank you instant gaming for sponsoring me and let's get back to our video yeah i'm ready let's check it out i think some people say um you can't get past the train part or something like that the full screen Let's see. Are we stuck here? I'll probably try this on my Steam Deck later on. So let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a like in like a Steam Deck version. Oh yeah, this is what they say you get out of the train station and this happens. Yeah, I think that there is a fix. I haven't looked into it. Maybe I'll do an update video. 
but that's basically how you get the game running but for this game i think there's an issue here um and there is a fix i know there's a fix i've read it online but um i'll, I'll update you guys oh no here we go we got some oh you just can't don't get the graphics but you got the text <laughs> that's pretty cool Okay, so I checked online and I got it to work. Uh, if you are stuck on the train part. So what you need to do, go back to your emulator. Okay, go back to your emulator. Right click on your game. And then configure game. Go to CPU tab. And make sure accuracy is set to accurate. Set to accurate. And then here on the GPU extensions tab. See this extended dynamic state. Okay, drag it over to zero. So from three to zero. Click OK, save that, and then I think you should delete your save data as well. So uh, right click, open save data location, double click on your user, and then here you've got a main file. All right, just delete it. Delete it, so we're just gonna get a fresh start. And then, yeah, let, let's do it. Let's do it again. Let's try it again. Full screen. I think we should be able to get past that train station where you know you've got no graphics so let's try it all over again and we should be good to go Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Okay, let's get out of the train station and see if we get graphics. Come on. All right. Yes. See, see how that fixed it. So yeah, hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comment sections if you have any issues and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.